Hi, this is Eric Sloeve over at NTPro.nl and in this video I'm going to show you how you can configure advanced network features on vSphere 5.5 and I'm going to create a, a filtering rule for a MAC address uh, on my distributed virtual switch. First of all, let's take a look at the setup. I have two virtual machines, them small Linux VM1 and VM2. They're both running on a virtual ESX host. The ESX host is hosted in Fusion on my MacBook Pro. And the ESX host is managed by vCenter. I have downloaded the vCenter appliance. It's also running in a virtual machine. So I have two virtual machines running on my MacBook Pro. And within the ESX host, there are two virtual machines active, VM1 and VM2, as a guest in, on the ESX I host. I have a special link on my website, and there's an OVA. Uh, file available and them small Linux can be uh, run in uh, 50 MB of storage. So um, I've created a console session to VM1 and VM2 and um, it's, it's, uh, you are able to, uh, to use uh, Safari or Chrome or Firefox on your MacBook Pro and there is integration for uh, the Apple uh, uh, iOS now. So uh, when I'm going to open console, I'm able to log on to the console and then when I'm typing ifconfig, uh, I can easily discover what the IP address of this uh, machine is. So this one is, uh, is uh, 44.143. So let's also open the console of my second virtual machine, VM2. And do an efconfig and it's 144. Okay, so both virtual machines are up and running. Both virtual machines are connected to uh, a distributed port group. The distributed port group is created on the distributed switch and the distributed switch is connected via uh, a DV uplink port to a physical network adapter on the ESX host. I'm going to show you a rule that can be created and filter out MAC traffic from VM1 to VM2. So first I have to gather the MAC address of VM1. So when I open the details of this uh, of this virtual machine, I can easily see that the MAC address is right here and I'm copying it to my clipboard. And then let's go to the, to the port group. Uh, in the port group properties, you are able to uh, set the advanced settings and the advanced settings, networking, uh, oh, sorry, I'm on the switch. I have to go to the to the port group, to the switch, to the distributed switch. So we can see here that the traffic filtering and marking is enabled, but there are no rules created right here. Uh, first, let's try to do a ping without any rules. And I'm going to ping to the other virtual machine, ping 172.16 dot 44.41 4 in this case so I see that I I'm receiving a reply and I'm receiving a reply from this machine so this was the one with the AF MAC address on the end so let's create a rule now go to the policies edit the policies for this uh, port group and then uh, go to traffic filtering and marking uh, enabled let's add a rule this is the cool thing, you can create a network traffic rule, in this case I'm leaving the name default, and you can tag, allow or drop package. So uh, depending on the situation you, are, you want to create, I'm going to drop package based on a MAC address. So in this case I'm selecting drop. Then you can also uh, select the traffic direction, ingress, egress or ingress and egress both. So I'm doing both and let's create a rule now and I'm going to create a new MAC qualifier. The MAC qualifier protocol type will be is IP4 but you can choose between IP6 or ARP and uh, the VLAN ID is not, uh, not uh, very important. The MAC address is and I have to paste the MAC address from my clip board right here and the destination address can also be a MAC address in this case it's any so let's uh, 
click OK. Let's click OK once more. Let's click OK once more. So uh, what happens now is that there is one rule active. Uh, traffic filtering is enabled. And when I'm going back to my uh, console right here, uh, and I'm going to start another ping command, I see already I have 12% packet loss. So uh, if I'm trying to ping the same host, uh, I can see that the traffic is not uh, forwarded to the other virtual machine anymore. On the other hand, I should be able to ping VM1 from VM2. So let's take a look at VM2. Ping 172.16.44.143. So the traffic is going to the virtual machine, but it's not responding because there is no echo uh, packet returned. So uh, I don't think we can fix this, but let's let's enable the rule again and see if the packets are still going the right way. Um, traffic filtering, traffic filter rule, drop, edit. Uh, it's easy to disable it right here. So, okay, it's disabled. Let's see if I can ping again back and forth. So this, this is going fine. And this one should also do the trick yes that's right so that's the real cool feature uh, you can configure it completely from the web client and uh, it's only available in the web client so you're forced to use it so find your way around in the web client because the normal vSphere client uh, will be uh, will not show you these options eric sloof is signing off bye bye